Hey everyone, I'm Emma and I'm a project manager here at Bulb Digital. I know what it's like to try to juggle all the different pieces of a project, whether it's meeting notes or task lists of different things people said they were gonna do in a meeting, or maybe it's your own to-do list. I hope this video really helps you see the power of Loop to take care of some of that busy work for you and also organize all of your thoughts in a really effortlessly amazing formatted way that takes the work off of you, puts it on the tool, and creates a really organized end product. So Loop has been a work in progress for a little while now, uh, but if you're completely new to Loop, my coworker Mitch put together a Your Guide to Loop video. So you could start with that video first and then jump over here where I'm gonna talk about the five features that really make my life as a project manager a lot easier. The first thing I love about Loop is the structure. If you came from a world where you were using OneNote, it was kind of all over the place and there really was no structure within OneNote. So Loop is really Microsoft's kind of way of fixing that problem. There's flexible organization with what they're calling workspaces. And what we've decided at Bob Digital is to do one workspace per project or initiative, which mirrors the way we have our teams structured. So we have one team per project initiative in Teams, and in Loop, we now have one workspace per project or initiative. Um, so one example I could give is our marketing team. So any of our team members who are in our marketing project on Teams, they would also have a loop workspace here called marketing project and we can add and take away any internal team members depending on if they're involved with that project or initiative or if they're not. This really creates a clean and organized structure so that you're not in every single project that you don't need to be and you're really only seeing the workspaces and the projects that involve you. Wishlist item number one for me is that I wish we could add a loop tab to that team in the Teams app um, so that you can just seamlessly switch back and forth. So that is hopefully coming soon. Um, not sure if Microsoft has that planned out for the next release, but it would be really helpful to be able to actually access Loop from the Microsoft team. Future Emma here. I figured out a workaround for this for the time being. Well, you can't add a tab on Teams and search for Loop, it doesn't work. You can add a link to a website so I can choose website, I can paste in the loop URL, hit save, and then I can rename this, I'm gonna call it loop, save that. And it won't show up necessarily here in Teams, but it will have your link there and your team will be able to open in browser and get right to your loop workspace one-stop shop. We have all sorts of different videos on our channel. Everything is to do with Microsoft and how you can be using their tools to elevate your work life. Feel free to check out our other videos on our channel and subscribe so you never miss a new video. The second thing I love about Loop is the effortless formatting. The tool takes care of all of the nitty gritty details of trying to figure out what headers should look like or how to organize your list. And it just allows you to format the page on the fly. So let me show you. So while you're jotting down notes or even creating an agenda for a meeting, you can see if I just start typing here, let's say that this is the agenda, I'm given, if I right click, I'm given three different heading options. So you can do really big, call attention to it, or you can have kind of subheadings. And then as you go into your topics or lists that you're creating, you can easily bullet the list, or you can make these into what they call a checklist. And as you finish or go through your agenda, you can check things off. And like I said, it just really makes your notes pop. The colors are really simple, the font is really clean, and there's just something to be said of a really clean notes page. It keeps everyone organized, it doesn't distract, and it just allows you to get your point across. If you have really disorganized notes, it bothers some people. So Loop takes care of that and you don't have to worry about it. So from the project management perspective, because the formatting of these pages is so great, it's already ready to present to a client or to use in working sessions. So I found myself with content that I used to probably take time to put into a deck and format and make look really pretty, I can just put that all right in Loop and just share my screen from Loop and it looks great already. So you're kind of cutting out that middle step of having to create content into this presentable fashion. Loop does that for you.
The third thing I love about Loop are the page templates. So let me show you one that I've been using recently. Um, if you click new page, then you're given the options of different page templates at the bottom. You can click the template gallery and Microsoft's been adding a bunch of different page templates. I use project planning a lot. What I love about this template is that it asks you the questions that you need to answer in order to get everyone on the same page. So you can see at the top it says use this template to define scope and plan milestones for your next project. So you can actually go in here, edit out anything you need to, roles, put down who's doing what, background context, opportunity statement. It already creates different templates as far as tables or task lists that you need to assign things to people. Um, also, it has this little team temp check, which I always think is kind of fun if you're starting a new project and maybe someone's newer to the team, just feeling things out, seeing where people are at. And then obviously relevant links if you need to link out to any websites or anything else that's relevant. This template specifically really helps get everyone on the same page at the beginning of a project, and it helps you not let anything fall through the cracks. So everything comes uh, pre-structured and then you just fill in all of the information. So Loop is really doing the busy work of setting up the page for you, and then you get to actually just do the real work. Future Emma here wanted to bring your attention to a new feature that Loop launched where you can create your own custom templates. So I'll show you how to do that here. Let's say I've got this setup checklist and I wanna create this to be a template I can use on other pages. I'll just go save page as template. I can change the name, save that. And then when I go to create a new page and I go into the template gallery, there it is, so I can apply that right to this page, use this template, everything will come up all loaded. The only nuance here is that I can't use templates I create in this workspace in other workspaces. So if I go over here to my case study workspace and I hit new page and I go into this template gallery, you'll see that the setup template is not there. So this is something that they've asked about and a lot of people have given feedback that it would be more useful to be able to use templates across workspaces. But I could see how if you have maybe a daily meeting template uh, you want to use every single day and you get sick of recreating it, that could be really useful. Um, so the other thing I wanted to mention was for managing your templates. If you go into the template gallery and you want to delete templates or rename them, you can actually do all of that uh, from this page here. Another template that I think would be really helpful, especially if you're newer to leading meetings, is the meeting notes template. And this is again, just set up for you. All you have to do is click new page, choose the meeting notes template, and then fill in the information. So what's the topic of your meeting? Who are the attendees? What's your agenda? And there's a spot for notes and of course tasks to follow up with people after the meeting. And you're able to assign different tasks to people at a due date um, and even create different buckets for your different tasks. This keeps you very organized and like I said, if you're newer to meetings and leading meetings, it definitely makes sure that nothing falls through the cracks. If you're newer to Loop, you may have only seen it actually in a Teams meeting where you click the meeting notes tab at the top of your Teams meeting and you'll see the Loop icon. I'm showing it here on my screen on the right. You're able to add an agenda, meeting notes and follow-up tasks right in your Teams meeting. There's a little bit of clunkiness going on with this integration with Teams because this loop, this um, panel, is actually creating its own loop that's only attached to that meeting. And if you want that loop page to actually live in a workspace, you do have to take the extra step to add that specific loop meeting notes page over to the workspace that you want it in. So there's definitely some stuff that Microsoft has to work out um, between the loop and Teams integration, but it is really nice to be able to take meeting notes right in your Teams meeting. Are you having trouble holding team members accountable to doing the things they say they're gonna do during meetings? Yeah, me too. And sometimes half the battle is just getting them in writing that, you know, Benjamin during our meeting said he was going to finish editing that podcast by X date. Um, lots of times he means well, the team member, you know, says they're gonna do it, but then they forget what date they threw out or they forget that they were supposed to work on X, Y, Z with so-and-so. Loop is here to help with that. With customizable task lists, 
you can actually assign each task to specific people, assign due dates, and the tool will actually send automated emails to the specific people that were assigned tasks with when the item was due. So these reminder emails will go out and you don't actually have to do anything. And lots of times it's just that, you know, little bit of a reminder that will help someone, oh yeah, you know, I did say I was gonna do that by next Wednesday. The other thing that I really love about these task lists or they're really easy to create real time. So if you've ever been in a meeting where everyone's talking at once and everyone's got great ideas and people are volunteering for things and you're just trying to write it all down quickly, this tool makes that really easy. Um, so all you do is you backslash, you say task list, it just inserts it in and you're already able to type. So you're already able to add all the tasks, maybe that's how your team works. You just wanna write everything down that needs to get done and then assign things, but everything's already built there structurally, so it makes it really easy to do in real time. If you've been following along on the new planner that's coming out, there's definitely some integrations in the future that will be happening between planner and loop that will make the tool even more powerful. It's definitely on my wish list item to make sure that tasks and planner and all of the email reminders all work together in an ecosystem that make it easy for a person to figure out all the work that they need to do and how to get it all done. Uh, I can't say that it's completely solved right now, but I am hoping that the tasks in loop will ultimately roll up um, to be integrated well with the other tools. I feel like visual cues are so important when you're trying to move fast or when you're trying to juggle a lot of projects. And so that's the other piece that I absolutely love about the way the loop interface is set up. If I show you the workspaces page again, it's really easy to differentiate between which project is which. If I start to get to know the familiarity of this header goes with this project. So that's just like another step that I think Loop has taken to creating more personalized and customizable um, visuals so that you're not just searching through words all the time between all your different projects or all your different work streams. The way you change these images is super easy. You just hit the three dots. You can say rename and style, update the cover, and right now you can't use custom in images, you have to use what they have within their library, um, but that could change. We can use custom images in a lot of other Microsoft products, so I could see that changing in the future. Um, you can choose random and it will pick for you. So again, Loop is here to do some of that busy work of just all of the decisions we have to make in our day. Loop will make some of that easier for you. Um, but again, it is, a nice visual cue to try to differentiate between different projects. I do have one bone to pick though with Microsoft when it comes to their emoji search. I don't know if you've ever used the website called Noun Project, but I absolutely love their search feature on Noun Project. You're able to type in any type of word. It could be growth or um, beginning or start, and they actually do the hard work of coming up with what visual clip art could represent that word. Um, Microsoft Search is definitely not that advanced. And the other day I was actually trying to find the uh, X mark, that red X that you know we all know of as an emoji. And I typed in X and it didn't come up. I typed in exit or stop or no, and none of them actually had it because it's actually called a cross within their uh, emoji library. So I have been a little unhappy with when you're trying to create things fast and you're trying to find emojis, it's hard to know what they're called in the Microsoft library. Um, so if Microsoft could make their search a little bit more intuitive, I would definitely be happy. So we've talked about a lot of different features within Loop and really how they make my life easier as a project manager, but I have to just say the tool of Loop is truly what has made my life easier as a project manager. I have been waiting and looking for a tool like this uh, the entire time Microsoft has had their suite of apps and tools and no hate to one note, but it never did it for me. It just was disorganized. I did not like the formatting of it. I didn't think it was ever really intuitive for people to find the information they were looking for with the way the page nested. It was kind of a mess, to be honest. But Loop, I really feel like does that. And for the projects that I manage, Loop has helped everyone get on the same page. It's helped me stay really organized and write down all the things we say we're gonna do, and then we can go do them. 
Today's video is all about loop and project management, but definitely comment below if you'd like to see more project management videos from us and how we're using the Microsoft tools in our workplace. That's great. Cool. Indeed.